Keeper's shared folders make sharing records with friends and family both easy and secure. Our shared folders provide great flexibility with improved user and record permission controls. To create a shared folder, click the Create New button and select Shared Folder. Enter a folder name and use the drop-down arrows to set the folder's default user and record permissions. User permissions are used to govern each individual user's ability to add or remove records and other users to the folder. Record permissions are used to govern folder members' interactions with each individual record in the folder. For more information on shared folder permissions, please see our sharing guide I've linked in the description. Once you click Create, you can begin adding records and users to the folder. Notice shared folders are differentiated from regular folders with a unique sharing icon. Now you can add records to the folder with a simple drag and drop and move multiple records at once by holding down the command or control key on your keyboard. You can also click edit and add records using the record search bar. To add users to the folder, switch to the Users tab. Click within the Email Address field and enter the email of the Keeper user you would like to share the folder with and click Add. If this is the first time you are sharing with this user, you may need to first establish a sharing relationship. Upon clicking Send Invite, the recipient will receive an email prompting them to log into Keeper and accept the share request. Once the recipient accepts your share request, a sharing relationship is established between you and the recipient. The user's email address will now automatically appear in the drop-down list of users moving forward and you can now share the folder with them. While in edit mode, the settings tab is where you can manage the folder's default user and record permissions over the folder, meaning any new user or record you add to the folder will inherit the permissions you set. Remember, these were initially set when you created the folder, but you can adjust them at any time by clicking on the drop-down arrows. It's important to note that newly created records inherit the permissions you set when adding users or records to the shared folder. Optionally, check the box here to apply the permissions you set to the existing records. If you'd like to change just an individual records or user's permissions, you can do that as well. From the Records tab, click the drop-down menu to set individual record permissions. The same process applies to users. From the Users tab, click the drop-down to select a user's permissions over the users and records in the folder. Lastly, you can delete records and users by simply checking the box next to the record or user's name and clicking Delete. Remember, be sure to click Save after making any of the changes we reviewed.